and He wants us to be there. But He also wants others to be there. Do you want to offer your life to Jesus and to expand His kingdom? Do you want to be used as a tool to bring, to bring hope to this hopeless world? Lord, I offer my life to you. Today, brothers and sisters, Jesus is looking for people who receive His word, who are willing to fill His word and filled with the Holy Spirit. But then they will use this to bless others. In James 1, 22, uh, verse 22 to 24, it says, But be doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving yourself. For if anyone is, uh, for if anyone is a hearer of the word, and not a doer, is like a man observing his face, natural face in the mirror. He observes himself, goes away, and immediately forgets what kind of man he, he was. We, we heard the message today, brothers and sisters. Are we gonna just hear and not do anything after we leave the church? Jesus is calling us, not just hearers, but doers. Reading the scriptures and hearing the scriptures is important, but it should lead us to do something. There's a saying that says, action speaks louder than words. The Lord is looking for people of action, people who act on their faith. Have you offered your life to Jesus? Think about it. How do your neighbors think of you? How do your co-workers think of you? How do the young lady in the grocery store and the man serving in the restaurant think of you? How do they think of you? How do they feel about you? Is it possible that our actions do speak louder than words that we really do not have Jesus in our life. Jesus is calling you today. Jesus said, I have given you talents, gifts, and skills so that you might bless the world around you. Do you want to offer your life to Jesus? If yes, let's all stand and pray.